My name is Miss Carly Stout and I'm the new principal here at Brookwell Middle School. I'm super excited to be here and can't wait to see everybody next week. I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and some fun facts. First of all, I used to be a teacher here and I taught science. My classroom was up there in the sea wing, so I'm very happy to be back here in this role now. This is a new and exciting role for me. Another fun fact, I'm a huge animal lover. I really, really love animals and I have two dogs at home. Her names are Patterson and Polar and one is 13 and one is 12. I also have three adorable boys, Benjamin, Nicholas, and Jacob, and they're all in school right now too, going through exactly what you guys are going to. One more fun fact, my favorite donut from Dunkin' Donuts is a blueberry cake donut. I put this video together for you just because I wanted you to be able to see what Brooklyn is going to look like now. It's a little bit different, so come on, let's show you Brooklyn. Hello Brooklyn Knights, this is Mr. Stanzi, I'm one of the assistant principals here. Um, right now we're going to talk about the bus drop off in the morning. So if you are someone that rides a bus, it's going to pull up at the front of the school. Once the bus is stopped in a single file, one at a time, you'll be coming off of that bus. Once you are done and out of the bus, you're going to walk underneath the underpass, go through the path, and as you get towards the cafeteria where the stairs are, you'll go up those stairs. If you are in eighth grade, you will go into the cafeteria. If you are in sixth and seventh grade, you will enter to the gym by going around the apron. Hi guys, this is Mr. Fonte. I'm assistant principal here at Brooklawn Middle School. I just want to show you our cafeteria and how it'll be set up for this year. If you notice, we have 55 desks on the lower corner of our cafeteria, and we have another 25 desks up on the stage. On a normal lunch period, we'll be putting our half of our cohort in the cafeteria, and the other half of our cohort will be in the gym. Ideally, on any nice day, we will all be outside for our lunch period. Yeah, you notice all desks are facing forward. As you can see in the hallways, we have two color tape, black and gold. Where I'm standing right now is really the buffer zone where we really don't want anybody walking or standing. So please stay to the right when you are moving in the hallway. And again, you could be on the line or to the right. There could be some students at their locker, and if you need to go around them in the middle and then come back around, completely okay. But we are asking all students, when you are moving in the hallway, to stay to the right at all times, and if best possible, stay in a single file line. So be mindful that our stairwells are going to be one direction. We started this towards the end of the school year last year. Right here you'll see this stairwell isn't up, so you can only come up these stairs during passing time. When it is not passing time, it could be either direction. But when we are passing from class to class, just be mindful if it's an up or down stairwell. As you drop your child off at Brooklawn Middle School, you will drive all the way up on the side of the building. As you drop off your child, your child as an 8th grader will report directly to the cafeteria. Your child who are 7th and 6th graders will report directly to the gymnasium on their respective sides. At the end of the school day, you will line up in the same location. As your child comes out of the building, they will enter your vehicle. You will proceed outside of the parking lot and allowing the next car to move up. Okay, everyone, just a reminder about masks. A mask like this is an acceptable mask. You should not be wearing a mask like this or down on your chin. Also, just remember that gaiters are not allowed and the masks with the little vents are not allowed. All just making sure that we stay safe. And here's a message from our PTA president, Amy Lamperty. Hi, my name is Amy Lamperty and I am the president of this year's Brooklawn Middle School PTSA organization. And for those of you that don't know, PTSA stands for Parent, Teacher, and Student Association. So a little different than elementary school, we actually try and get our students involved now in this organization as well. And our role and our goal is to make sure that all three audiences have a really positive and engaging experience at Brooklyn this year. I have three students um, in the Parsippany Hills School District. I have one who is a junior at the Hills. I have a sophomore who is at the Morris County School of Technology, and I have an eighth grader who's here at Brookline. So um, I also want to introduce you and tell you a little bit about the other members of the board. Our vice president is Kelly Anderson. She is a teacher here at Brookline Middle School, and she also has two students in the district. Our secretary is Tara Snellings, who is also a teacher in the district and has two students here, one in elementary school and one here at Brooklawn. And our treasurer is Sue Martin, who also has two students in the district. So the four of us will work together and we are responsible for six different things. Um, one of them is 
we are in charge of hospitality and teacher appreciation here. So you'll see we'll be doing some um, fun and exciting things to welcome the teachers back to school this year. And then throughout the school year, we demonstrate our appreciation as an organization in multiple ways. We also um, act as a hospitality group, especially when we have live events, which may not be happening this year. But even with virtual events, you'll hear from us at Back to School Night and other activities. We're also responsible for funding multiple scholarships. We do one for the um, Tabor Band Camp. We also do one at the Hills. And we also um, fund some additional activities. We also run two major events during the year, both of which are planned to be virtual this year. We run the school's variety show, and we also run what in the past has been a color run, but will be transitioned to something, some sort of family fun event that we do online in the spring. Um, we also are responsible for running two book fairs, which will be virtual, and we are responsible for selling spirit wear, and we are responsible for school beautification. So when the kids come back to school this year and the teachers and the faculty are here uh, in the fall, they will see um, a much improved front garden and also a courtyard that's been beautified with mums and cleaned up quite a bit. And that's courtesy of the PTSA. So I encourage you all to get involved. I encourage you to become members and I encourage you to purchase spirit wear and stay in tune with what's going on. So you can visit our website at brooklawnptsa.org and that's when you'll find out when our monthly events are, that's where you can make purchases of spirit wear and learn anything else that you need to know. It's also a way for you to contact us. And if you participate in Facebook, please look for our Facebook group. I look forward to meeting you all and I wish everybody a happy and healthy school year.